Hey guys, this is, well, Quentin Cannon Jr. right here. Now, my last video on this type premise, I did school fights, and that was a pretty okay video. Now, I'm gonna be doing a different premise because originally I did, you know, uh, a camera opening, you know, video. But I'm gonna be doing more of a voiceover because, well, my quality is dookie. But, you know, <laughs> enough of that. So, let's just dive right into this story. Now, we've all been in a situation where we've had to go to the school bathroom. There's it is, it is no in-between. We had to go to the school bathroom at least once. If you've never gone to the school bathroom, I mean never through your whole high school, preschool, junior, uh, middle school year, like, junior high, like, you're lying, bro. At one point, you had to go to the restroom. So, we're going to be going over about four to five different topics on why school bathrooms are the most treacherous devious and most conquetuous places to be on earth and in school history so let's go over first one babes now these are a normal thing nowadays where literally every kid and a mama has one or is vaping one it's a combination of a lot of things that have correlation with freaking cancer now you can vape if you want to but don't be crying to me 20 years later when you can't speak and you have to eat through a tube, like, really. But, like, other than that, like, might be, it is kind of bad, but at the same time, people don't think it's bad. So, like, which one is it? But we're going to be going over about three different types where I've seen this type of treacherous, devious thing being, well, acted upon in my school bathrooms in my lifetime. Now, the time was about, let's say, junior high. It was a normal time in my life when I was just at the point of having no glow up at all. I was, <laughs> I was chopped cheese, bro. I was chopped cheese. I was done for. Like my my hair, my face, my acne. Best believe, <laughs> I look like a, pep a black pepperoni, like bro, a black pepperoni pizza that was crispily burnt. Like bro, I, 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 did, I did not look good at all. And I thought I was the absolute goat back then. I thought I'd get any girl if I had confidence. I still got confidence. But now I actually look decent. Doing the things that I never would know. Treat me like what So yeah, but basically I was in school, right? I was walking home. Not walking home. I was walking into school bathroom. In the school bathroom. After a little bit of a test or I guess a quiz, because my teacher back then gave us quizzes for no reason. But we ain't gonna talk about that. We're gonna be talking about teachers in another episode. But I was walking down the hallway, right? Just relaxing, calm, just being normal, right? Walked and walked. And, like, it's not really doors in my school bathroom back then. It wasn't really doors. It was more or less hallways that do a curve. So if you walk by, you couldn't see inside the bathroom. You had to go into a hallway, take a turn, and another turn, and then you would see the bathroom, right? So I walked into the boys' bathroom, did a turn, did another turn. And as soon as I took that other turn... As soon as I took that other turn, I got hit with the most devious of smoke boxes I've ever seen in my whole life. I got hit like I got pretty, uh, bro, bro. I was straight up gibberish, but like I got hit like a, oh my gosh, bro. Pause. It, it felt like the smoke version of Mike Tyson body slammed me as soon as I walked. As soon as I took that turn. I smell straight nicotine with a hint of watermelon, but like we ain't even talk about that. So I was walking, right, clenching my nose. It was smoke to a point where you can move your hand and it would leave an imprint and then fill back up with more smoke. Like, sorry for my language, but I'll probably bleep that out. But like for real, I was just moving my hand, bada bing, bada boom. It was, it was smoke everywhere, everywhere I pit my hand. I had to literally wave my my eyes were watering. Do you Whoa, calm down, whoa, Jamal. Whoa, whoa. Don't pull out the nine. My eyes were watering. I went in there, took a little whiz whiz, doing my thing, right? I saw this dude, like these are a bunch of Edgars, man. Like no no racial, but you never see no Oh, actually, you see every race do this, except for black people. I don't see much of my brothers and sisters do this type of stuff. But I was just chilling, right? This tall Edgar looking dude had a vape while smoking in this big breath of freight up smoke. Smoking that. Walked up to me, started peeing. Walked 
straight up to the urinal right next to me, my oh, ass. Oh, hell no. Sat right no. there. Not sat right there, but was standing right there, right next to me. The whole line was completely empty. Man purposely walked straight up to my urinal and stood right next oh, to me. Oh, hell no. Notifiers, bro. If you got notifiers in a urinal, you have to at least be a urinal away or two urinals away. Or matter of fact, just be on the other side in general. You don't gotta stand right next to me, bro. You don't gotta stand right next to me. <laughs> That's why I was really pressed. I was genuinely pressed. I was really about to go ham. Like, bro, like, dude, this dude walked straight up to me, practically shoulder rubbing me. And then he had the nerve. To take out a freaking blunt. Man started blunting that stuff, bro. Man started blunting it, bro. While he was peeing, too. Both-handed. Bro was, like, aiming it, I guess, uh, free-handed, bro. Bro was rolling a blunt. Then I felt a wet feeling in my foot. Yes. Yeah, a wet feeling in my foot. So you know what I... <laughs> I looked down, <laughs> and I saw piss on my white Air Jordans. Oh, hell white no. Air Jordans. And this man said the nerve in the deepest Hispanic voice. Sorry, my man. No hard feeling. <laughs> Bruh. I looked him dead in his eyes. I didn't care if my meat was hanging out. I looked him dead in his eyes. I I literally looked dead in his soul and I told him, Are you see serious, my brother? I zipped up, <laughs> put my thing away. I walked away and then I bro, I think it's the most outrageous thing I've ever done to any person in my life so far. I kicked his back of his ankle, back of his, you know, leg, where your leg, you know, joint, or your knee, the back of his knee, and made that man slip on his knees, and his head dunked into the urinal. I'm sorry. Oh, hell no. Backwards, but I didn't know he was going to go face first into the urinal. Bro was drowning in his own piss. Smells like pee pee and poo poo in here. No, seriously, why does it smell like caca and wee whiz? I swear to goodness, he must have had AIDS or something. Nah, because you know, urinals are disgusting. <laughs> Remember in preschool when people started taking dookies in the <laughs> urinal? Nah, you're wilding, bro. But I was backing up. He got up, started wiping his face off. He got pissed. Trying to run towards me. Man slept in his own urine. Oh, hell I was no. Man. my Booty cheeks off! I was flatter than a freaking pancake. My booty cheeks were clean off. I was laughing. I couldn't even breathe. Plus the smoke, bro. And I was making too much noise. So you know what happened? The vice principal walked in. He looked at me and said, Come with me. Bro didn't talk, didn't, didn't single out nobody else. Didn't single out nobody else. But I ain't gonna talk about that. Let's let's switch off to another subject. <sighs> The school thoughts. Oh hell no! Man. Like the stuff that happens in the restroom where things shouldn't be happening at a school restroom, bro. So the time was about well, the end of my junior, not the end, like I guess my eighth grade year. And this is where majority of my stories are derived from. This is where really the most devious of things happen in my life in terms of school. So I was chilling like a normal day. I had a little bit of a bad day, but that's school parent stuff. That's parent home stuff. I ain't gonna talk about that on YouTube. But I had a little bit of an off day. So walking into the restroom, I started washing my hands after peeing, right? Like a normal gentleman should do. If you nasty and you walk out the restroom without washing your hands after you piss or take a doo-doo, you're nasty. You should be locked up. <laughs> you're, you're, not, you're not human, bro. You're, you're not... You're, I, I'm I'm sorry to say it, but you should get the death penalty. I'm sorry. You're nasty, bro. You don't even you don't you don't you you don't even know how dirty the school is in general, and you have the nerve to not wash your hands after, and then thirty minutes later eat lunch, bro. Wash your dirty 
I can't even talk. I can't even talk like that, bro. This is YouTube. But like, watch so nasty. Oh. Pause. Bro, wash your hands, bro. But I was chilling, walking to the restroom. I washing my hands, doing my thing, about to leave. While I heard a noise. I heard a patter of cheeks. I heard actual cheeks being clapped in three in the morning. Oh, hell no, man. This was my first period. It was morning. Six, five. Morning time. And they had the nerve to start clapping cheeks in the freaking morning. First period. Period, and if you've been in my, if you've been to schools, they have like that ten ten rule where you have to take ten minutes in class and then go to the restroom, or ten minutes before class ends, you can't go to the restroom. So, this was ten ten. We're at ten ten. This is my first. This is like the the time where a majority of everybody would be able to go to the restroom since school started. So, the first thing they thought of was going into the restroom where they would know like fifty percent of people around this time do. Go out to use the bathroom because it's morning time. They got urinal, urinal built up. They be drinking orange juice. They be drinking they 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 stuff they do for breakfast. So I I stopped dead in my tracks. I was in the middle of walking out the door. I look back and I'm shocked that I noticed this. They were on the floor. The floor getting dirty, and my eyes, I wish I didn't look back, because I didn't even look, I didn't even tilt my head, I looked back, looked down, didn't even squat nothing, just looked down, and they were at the front, you know, not even, oh, the, front, hell not even, no, the, back, not even the very back stall where you mainly can get away with some things, the front stall, getting down and dirty, on the bare floor, bare cheeks, bare shirt, and I swear to goodness, I saw their belt, pants, whatever, on the side hanging. Bro, they, they have to be on something, cause ain't no way you do that in your right mind. You, you, you're just, you're, you're just nasty. You're nasty. You're butt naked in school on the school stall. <laughs> <laughs> Floor boys bathroom. Oh hell no, man. Bro, how <laughs> I'm cry, bro? How nasty do you have to be to do that? How nasty do you have to be to get down and dirty in school? <gasps> On the bare floor of the school restroom. Who are you? Who are you, bro? You probably gonna elk R. Kelly here afterwards, like, bro. Oh my god, bro. I lost all faith in humanity that day. But, enough of that. Let's move on. Devious Alex. Now, guys. <laughs> Devious Alex were the number one.